All right, now for the actual assembly of the mask. So you're gonna start with your center valve. Um, and you will want to look for the arrows on the top. Um, you'll need that for later. Just pay attention to where the arrows are. It should be the same side where this little black knob is. Um, and you will start by taking this piece right here and placing that into this, um, this part of the center valve. So you'll screw it in there. and now you're gonna get your support rings and your uh, one-way valves and you'll place them on like this so it should end up being like that able to let the air pass through the chamber and do that for both of them All right, so now um, you need to look at the arrows on the center valve. So I'm not sure if you can really see it on the camera, but there's one side where the air is coming in and one side where the air is leaving. So the side where the air is coming in, that's gonna be um, where your inspiratory valve goes. So you want to have the one-way valve go like this and able, so it's able to let the air pass through. And on the other side, you want your valve to go the same way as this valve over here. Um, so it'll look like this, still letting the air pass through this way. Um, so you'll put your inspiratory side on, the valve facing this way. And you'll Put your other one in facing the same way with the expiratory valve which is this one with the little triangle in the middle so you'll screw that on make sure it's nice and tight and there's a hole on the bottom of the center valve um, where the spit valve goes so you'll just screw that in there and then you have the chamber all assembled and now you just need to connect it to the mask itself so you can see there's kind of a little lip right here that goes into this part of the mask so I like to set the mask down on the table this part's really tricky especially the first time you do it um, you just kind of have to pull and work it in and then you'll look at the other side of the mask just to make sure that it's threaded correctly and it should just look like that just a plain circle on the inside and now we're going to connect the mask to the head strap so you want the red side to be um, touching the participant's head so the gray is going to be on the outside we'll take these little black knobs and put them in to the plastic the little plastic hooks on the outside And when you have your participant, you'll have them hold their mask on their face and then you can wrap the head strap around their head and do the same steps on the other side. And that is how you assemble a VO2 mask.